Now look, a teeny mini chihuahua. He's a billet. He squirms a lot. She's hard to hold. But if you can catch her, you can get her dress to go outside. Isabella just sits and shivers if it's less than like 80 degrees outside. So she has to wear clothes. Of course, all clothes made for dogs are too big for Isabella and she just kind of walks out of them. So once you catch her, which is an event in itself, you can then start putting clothes on her. Now this is what we call her Elvis jacket, and it's a cute little outfit that has ah, Isabella. It has Velcro. If there's something she can get tangled in, she will. It has Velcro on the bottom here, and sometimes you can actually get it fastened. Now today, it's in the 60s, which for Isabella, that's really cold for the little thing. Whoa, Izzy, you are so funny. I'm still trying to get the Velcro fastened beneath her. She squirms and squirms and squirms. Okay, there, Isabella in her her Elvis jacket. Okay, now, because it's only about 65 degrees out there today, we're going to put two jackets on. And also, this putting two jackets on keeps the first jacket from falling off. Sometimes, if I'm just putting one jacket on, I have to put a harness on over the jacket so that she doesn't just walk out of it. This second jacket is way too big, although it's the smallest size they make. It also Velcros on, if you can get her to put her little feet through. Come on, baby. Somehow, those little knees and feet are never in the right place. Oh, look at you standing up there. Okay, now, let's see if we can get the Velcro done on this one. Hmm. Isabella, if only you would hold still like a real dog. Oh, well, I knew you weren't a real dog anyway. Okay. Now we have two jackets on Isabella, so hopefully... She'll stay warm and the jackets won't fall off at least. Now please take your feet out of that cord. Okay, there we go. I want you to see Isabella in two jackets. Will that keep you warm enough, baby? She'll probably still go out and just shiver, but I want her to get some outdoor time and she li loves to have outdoor time. She likes to go outside. So there's Isabella all ready to go outside. Little Isabella on the porch with me. Come here, Izzy. Come on, Izzy. Isabella, get out of the cat food. Little Izzy on the porch, there's Blue. Blue's a very small cat. It's like 70 degrees out here. She's not shivering though, much. I'm out here to uh, pick the rest of my microgreens that are left, just a few, and then plant some more. Mmm, my oxalis looks like spring. Beautiful. I've been reading up on how to dry my mint and save it 
and my stevia. And then I had an epiphany. Why am I gonna dry it? I've got these plants growing on the porch. Why don't I just pick it and make the tea that I want? <laughs> it's a lovely winter day. Uh, like, oh, I don't know, 65 and windy. Anyway, yes. So I did, I picked it, I washed it, I boiled it up and it made fabulous mint tea. Oh, so good. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do right now, pick some. Here's the mint, it's been growing back here near the house for the winter, because I didn't want it to freeze. And oh, I think it's blooming, it actually is. Here's the stevia, also blooming. Oh well, okay, so I'm gonna pick some sprigs wash them off and boil them up and make mint tea. Mmm, yummy. There's the mint and stevia in the pot. And I'm just gonna boil it up for a few minutes and let it steep for a while. I tore off some of the leaves thinking maybe that would release more of that mint oil, but I don't really know. We shall see. I drink some hot and I make some for iced. Almost done with the pecans. There's some of them in the freezer. What's that? One, two, three, four, five, six bags in the freezer. And I have half a bag outside. Out in the garden at dusk, I'm planting, uh, well, I don't know what I'm planting. I'm planting remains of microgreens. After I've cut them down and used up everything I can use up, I just throw them in the garden. And sometimes they make plants. That's how I got this kale. And this kale. I just threw the leftovers. And that broccoli over there. And this broccoli over here. Came from me just tossing remains of microgreen containers into the garden. There you go. My grandsons came over and we planted some... Uh, asparagus crowns. I had an asparagus bed and after six years the whole thing died. I have no idea why that would be. There in the distance you can see a few blooms on my peach trees. And we also planted a grapevine. I had a grapevine for seven years. It died too in the asparagus bed. Thinking something's wrong with that bed. I'm leaving it to the gourds this year. The grapevine just looks like a stick. It's over there by the arch. Look at all that luscious kale and chard growing in my garden. I'm gonna pick some time for some dinner. This is quite possibly the most pitiful broccoli I ever grew. Yes, that's a head of broccoli. Some years it does well, and some years it doesn't. That turned out to be a lot of broccoli and chard. Uh, not broccoli, kale and chard. Uh, way too much for me. So I'll have to uh, chop it up and freeze it for summer months when I don't have it. Chantilly lace, a pretty face, a ponytail a hanging down, a wiggle in a walk and a giggle in a talk. Makes the world go round, round, round. There ain't nothing in the world like a big eyed girl to make me act so funny, make me spend my money, make me feel real loose like a long necked goose. Oh, baby, that's what I want. Yeah, there, Pippi. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.